after the great victory at Miyajima and becoming the most powerful clan in Aki, Motonari decided to officially retire to allow his son, Takamoto, to take over. But of course, his presence alone still held much sway in the clan. Reorganizing the Ochi lands took five years, but in that period, Motonari took on the Otomo clan of Kyushu over Moji Castle, a strategic castle at the northern tip of Buzen. The castle would not be secured till 1561. Even further back, in 1556, Yamabuki Castle had been captured by the Amako, and this led to the Mori losing the Iwami Ginzan silver mine. This, of course, meant that even during the events of the war with the Ochi, Motonari was still trying to undermine the Amako clan, and one plot even led to Amako Haruhisa killing some of his key retainers, weakening the clan. Then, in the 1560s, the Amako daimyo Haruhisa died, and Amako Yoshihisa took over. The shogun Ashikaga Yoshiteru intervened to try to make peace between the two clans, but Motonari, ever the opportunist, ignored the shogun and invaded Izumo in 1562. In the same year, Iwami was taken, but not everything went well for Motonari as during the campaign to cut supplies to Gasan, Toda Castle, the main castle for the Amako. His eldest son, Takamoto, returning from Kyushu, died of a sudden illness in the mansion of the Wachi clan leader. Motonari suspected Amako poison and had suspected Wachi clan members murdered years later. Grieving, he named Takamoto's son Terumoto as heir, but still the war with the Amako continued. Shiraga Castle was attacked, an important satellite of Gasan Toda Castle. Yamako tried to relieve the castle but failed, and after 70 days, the castle surrendered. This succeeded in the plan to isolate Gasan Toda Castle, and then Motonari led his forces to the castle. The main goal of the campaign, outnumbered and with little supplies, Yoshihisa still resisted and even managed to repel an assault, causing Motonari to pull back and come back next year. This time, Motonari decided to just starve the castle out. He even put out a call that any deserter from the Amako would be executed to keep all of the soldiers in the castle. He also spread rumors that a loyal retainer, Uyama Isakane, was plotting to betray the Amako and Yoshihisa acted on it and had the man killed. It was then Motonari raised the ban on deserters after they had done their job of eating up the supplies and thousands came to join the Mori, half-starved. Thus unable to hold out, Yoshihisa surrendered and surprisingly was allowed to become a monk, changing his name to Yurin at Enmeji under guard. Thus the rest of the clan came under the Mori clan except for Amako, Katsuhisa who continued his rebellion till the period of Mori Terumoto as Daimyo. Also on Terumoto, Yurin became a retainer under him. With Yamako settled, Motonari was effectively lord of eight provinces in the Chugoku region. Sadly, success does not equal a longer life, and since the 1560s, Motonari had been very sick and even the shogun sent him a doctor to treat him. Motonari would win two more battles, the Siege of Tachibana and Nunobeyama. In June of 1571, he died at the age of 74 of esophageal cancer and old age and was buried in a temple in Kyoto. His two best generals being his two sons who became clan leaders, the two Kawas, or translated the two rivers, a play on words on Kobayakawa and Kikkawa, a patron of the arts, a great strategist and an excellent leader. It is no wonder Mori Motonari is a legend of Japanese history from a few districts at the beginning of his rule to over 10 of the 11 provinces of the Chugoku region. For more content like this, please subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Thank you very much. Till next word.